are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. No denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chief. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. You're the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 148 pounds. Fighting out of Lafayette, Louisiana, Goliath. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that dude. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Big leg kick land. 
Ooh, big knee. Oh, nice right hand. It's very tricky to throw that body. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice leg kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Beautiful straight counter. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Yeah. Got the single collar tie. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Trying to establish that jab once again. Beautiful point. Ooh, head kick lands from Kirk. Yeah, both guys really throwing with authority. Cut the down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. He loaded up there on that high kick. Yeah, I've heard him a little bit. Big kick lands. Try to establish that jab. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Big leg kick lands. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Hey, stop. Right now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did. And they both found success over the course of that round. Hip into that kick. Oh, big head kick there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such tough. 
toughness to even be on his feet right now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Lee. Look at how turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Marshall, the taller fighter, lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit tall. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? And just misses with that big right hand. Ooh, what a head kick. Back and forth we go. Straight right hand on the counter is good. Continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh! Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, nice! He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Went for the inside leg kick. a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Game of inches right Damn there, it. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Seeing this I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, nice jab. Body kick now by Lou. but a swing and a miss by Lee. Ten seconds to go. Shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it for going in the fight. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, He's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight. 
but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Straight punch lands. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Nice looping punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh! Connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh! Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my face. Oh, beautiful move the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Real nice body kick. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Knocked down by the spinning back. Strikes there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Stunned him with that knee to the head. Oh! He's out! Oh! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is called to stop for this contest at three minutes, nine seconds of round number three. You're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.